I hesitate to do presentation after Helen's excellent presentation. But uh, anyway, uh, today uh, I'd like to recommend traveling to Japan. Uh, Tokyo Disneyland is uh, one of good sales points of Japan, but there are uh, another many uh, good sales points. So today I will introduce that uh, Japanese sales point. Okay. Uh, first, uh, as an introduction, I will uh, briefly uh, introduce environment for sightseeing in Japan. Then I will talk about uh, what you can enjoy in Japan. Okay. First, uh, do you know where is Japan? Uh, this this red small island company is a uh, country is Japan. Uh, it's in the east of Asia and it uh, extends only three thousand kilometers from sea to sea. So, uh, I think you can travel the whole country very effectively. Okay. Then uh, about climate. Uh, this is a uh, data of. Japan Meteorological Agency. And uh, from this data, uh, the temperature is basically warm and uh, relatively humid. So, uh, okay, additionally, uh, Japan has distinct four seasons. So, I think you can enjoy traveling to Japan uh, each uh, all seasons. Okay, then uh, from now, uh, I'd like to talk about what you can enjoy in Japan. Uh, this is a survey from Japan, Japan National Tourism Organization, the purpose of foreign tourists in Japan. The result of this survey is this. Uh, first is shopping and traditional culture and relaxation. So uh, from now, I will talk about these uh, three points of view. Okay. First is shopping. This is a uh, town of Ginza. Ginza is a downtown of Tokyo. In this town, uh, you can enjoy uh, shopping for fashion. There are uh, almost all famous fashion brands like this. Uh, okay, but the, these uh, fashion brands may be uh, a little expensive, but you can enter these shops uh, friendly. And another uh, point is food. Uh, okay, in Ginza, uh, you can enjoy tasty Japanese food like sushi. And uh, the, do you know the Tsukiji market? Tsukiji market is the biggest uh, fish market in Japan. Yeah, so the biggest fish market is uh, next to Ginza. So sushi, uh, not only sushi, but also seafood in Ginza is very fresh, so uh, sushi in Ginza is very popular in Japan. And also, you can enjoy nightlife. There are many kinds of stylish bar, so uh, most of Japanese businessmen go to uh, these uh, stylish bar after work. I, I really like it. And uh, this bar opens until midnight. And, uh, Safety of Japan is very good, so if you go to this bar and drink, uh, how, however you drunk, you can go to your hotels very safely. So this is the sales point. And I'd like to introduce another uh, shopping town. This is Akihabara, also in Tokyo. In this town, you can uh, enjoy shopping for electric goods. This picture is about digital camera. There are uh, high quality electric goods, not only digital camera, but also PC or TV or something. And there are many uh, various kinds of electric goods, so you can choose from huge uh, selection. And uh, the electric goods in Akihabara is relatively cheap, so most of, most of Japanese go to Akihabara when we want to buy electric goods. And also, um, there are duty-free shops in Akihabara. So in uh, the electric goods in such duty-free shop, it is, uh, uh, the, these electric 
electric boots can use almost all over the world. So uh, from foreign tourists, the duty-free shop of Akihabara is very popular. And also, comics and games. Uh, do you know uh, otaku is Japanese word, which means people who are addicted to comics and games, mm. like her. Uh, she is wearing costume or some <laughs> Japanese animation. So if you are interested in comics and games, I, I recommend to visit this town, Akihabara. Okay, next point is traditional culture. Uh, I recommend to go to Kyoto if you want to enjoy traditional culture. Kyoto is a traditional capital city uh, of Japan until 17th century. In Kyoto, First, you can enjoy temples. Uh, there are 3,000 temples in Kyoto city. And uh, each temple has history and beautiful architecture and garden. And also, I'd like to recommend this, this picture. This is meditation. Uh, in Japanese, this is called Zazen. Zazen is meditation. If um, <coughs> you can enjoy this meditation in each temple. So, if you do this, you will be become feel uh, comfortable and maybe you can become more energetic. And also, this is kimono. Kimono is traditional Japanese style dress. So uh, this is traditional dress, but even now uh, kimono is very popular in Japan, especially for women. So uh, you can enjoy kimono. In Kyoto, but uh, kimono is uh, little expensive. Usually, it it's uh, about a thousand dollars or so. So it is very expensive. But uh, for foreign travelers, it is uh, a popular that uh, one day rental experience. So if you come to Japan, you can uh, rent out the kimono and uh, walk around Kyoto city. Next point is relaxation. This is uh, Yokan. Yokan is Japanese style hotel. And uh, you can stay in this Japanese st style hotel in Japan. Uh, the room of Yokan is relatively large. Uh, at least uh, five people can stay in um, the smallest room. And each room has uh, many antique goods. So you can also enjoy these antique goods. And also, uh, the servant, like her, the servant will serve you everything in this Japanese style hotel. So I think you can feel very relaxed in this Japanese style hotel. And also, uh, this hotel is cheaper than hotel in big city. So uh, I recommend you to, when you come to Japan, uh, I recommend to stay in this Japanese style hotel. At last, uh, I'd like to recommend onsen. Onsen is Japanese hot springs. There are uh, many hot springs because of the volcanic activity in Japan. So, uh, this, please look at the, this water. This water looks very white because this contains this water contains many minerals. So minerals and hot, water, uh, hot temperature can remove your fatigue and uh, feel relaxed. So onsen is very popular in Japan. So many Japanese go to onsen in holiday. And also onsen, 